Assalamu alaikum. Today we're going to talk about uh, maybe a new topic, square root of a two by two matrix. As you see in the, in the whiteboard, if A square is this matrix, 19, 45, 27, and 64, find A. So the question, the, the question is, find the square root of the matrix 19, 45, 2764. Watch how we're gonna do this, and then I'll tell you uh, where did this come from. Of course, there is methods to calculate the square root of a matrix. Uh, one of them is called the Kaelin Hamilton theorem, and another way is uh, it's quite similar uh, eigenvalue and eigenvectors which is not in, in our curriculum so we are going to use only the basic definition of multiplication a matrix by itself this is it first is I'm going to suppose that this location here instead of call it uh, 1 1 and this is 1 2 I'm gonna call this X and here is Y so the main diagonals I call the locations X and Y and the non main diagonal L and L that's only for simplicity and I'm gonna use the, the, the property that in the square the matrix and its origin the ratio between these two numbers are the same as this so from this, I know that L over M, the ratio between L and M, is the same as 45 and 27. If you simplify over 9 here, on, uh, up and down, 45 divided by 9 is 5, divided by 9 is 3. So we get, we've got an information about L equal over, over 3M. This is my first equation about the, the, the two elements here and there. Two unknowns, we must need another uh, equation. So this is one. The other one is going to come from the other main diagonal. The main diagonal. Take the 19 and 64. Here is the 19. Let me get another color. Maybe. And take the 19 and the 64 and how this is how I'm gonna get my X the, the number in X location and Y by dividing each one of them into a perfect square plus the remainder the perfect square under 19 is 16 16 has a square root that's why we call it uh, a perfect square plus uh, 3 16 plus 3 or 19 the next uh, perfect square is uh, 9 9 plus 10 that's a perfect square plus 10 equal 19 the perfect square under 9 is 4 4 plus how many how much to get 19 is uh, 15 the last perfect square under 16 is 1 plus uh, uh, 18. I'm gonna do the same to 64 and looking for the match between the added number to the perfect square in both sides here and here. 64 is itself a perfect square plus 0. Is 0 matches any of these? No, so we, didn't, we haven't got a match yet. Find the perfect square under 64. Uh, I think it's a uh, 49. I'm sure it's not thinking. Plus, how much to get to 64? Uh, uh, 14 minus 9 is 5. Here's our match. Here's 15. And here's 15. That's what I'm talking about. 15 is the added number to a perfect square in both columns in 19 and 64. This 15 is a product of L and M here. Remember, 
we needed another equation and we've got it. And this square is 49. 49. And, for, and for we take the square root of them to find x and y. So we, we got everything solved now. x is already positive or negative root 4 positive or negative 2 and y positive or negative 7 positive or negative square root of 49 7 positive or negative positive or negative 7 now I can go here and here fill it up now this is positive or negative 2 and this one here is positive or negative 7 and to find L and M as I told you Lm is 15. L times M is 15. This is your second equation. Solve these together. You will get L and M. And this is it. So let's do that. Substitute from 1 into L equal 5 over 3M. So I take this out. Put 5 over 3. M times that M will be squared. Multiply both sides by 3 over 5. So it's going to disappear from here and show up here inverted 3 over 5 and cancel it from here. Simplify 5, 15 over 5 is 3 times 3 is 9. So this is became 9. So m is positive or negative square root of 9. m equal positive or negative 3. This is my M. So I know this place is going to be positive or negative 7. What about L? Just substitute L back in here. Uh, M back in here. So L will be 5 over 3 times 3, but it's positive or negative. So it's going to be uh, positive or negative 1 times 5, which is positive or negative 5. That's L positive or negative 5. Check it out. Square this matrix 2, 5, 3, 7. Or use the negative signs negative 2, negative 5, negative 3, negative 7. And make sure it's going to give you back 19, 45, 27, 64. So we saw now that the square root of matrix has two answers one positive and the other negative, just like uh, in numbers. Uh, probably we, we need like two more videos like this to cover the, the issue a little bit more. So I see you guys. Salam alaikum.